Okay, I'm back. We got this orange thing on the end of our gun, right? Want to make that go away. Uh, simple oversight. I'm really not done with the whole uh, crosshair laser freaking thing, but I, I wanted to leave it alone and move on for a little bit because I'm not exactly sure what I want. And I want you guys to be focused on the basics. or well, not basics. I make it sound like I'm talking down to you. I wanted, I wanted us to get a solid foundation before we start digging around in there. So let's go to where we did that, which is in our weapon actual master blueprint. And to get there, it's a freaking journey. So weapon actual, oh wait, blueprints. Weapon actual master, double click on it. Uh, go to your event graph. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do. All right. First off is we're going to change this. And we're going to change it to say set visibility. Blah, 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 blah. Set visibility. And we want it to be the opposite of what this is on that first line. So that empty is good. And we want it to propagate to the children. That part's the same. Press control, left click, and drag this on down here. Okay, so why are we using set visibility instead of set hidden in game? Set hidden in game is more like if you were a developer and you had like say some bounding walls, you want them maybe to be solid colored or, or visible when you're in the editor, but you don't want them to be uh, visible when you're in the game. That's kind of like what that setting's for. I mean, it worked for what we were doing, but it's not really what it's for. Set visibility is better. Because what we're going to do is we're going to turn the visibility of that glowing thing that's at the end of our weapon, we're going to set it to false. And we're going to allow our functions to determine our visibility on runtime versus setting it ahead of time, if that makes sense. It just basically makes it so the light's off when it's supposed to be off and the laser's off when it's supposed to be off and the right people are seeing it. That's all it does, okay? So... Set visibility, opposite of what it is there. Let's go ahead and do that same thing over here. We got another set visibility. Um, and it's coming off this laser light mesh. So set visibility. Okay, it's off there. So we want to turn it on here and we want to propagate to children. Control, left click, drag and drop. Fantastic. Drop it over here. Set visibility. Same thing, it's positive, so we want to be off. Propagate to the children. Left control, or control, left click, drag and drop. Great, now we can delete the functions we're not using. I forgot to double check, that was the whole point of it being there. But we're gonna live life on the edge. Okay, compile, save, save all. We're not done yet. Go to your laser light mesh. Getting over here and type visibility. We don't want it to be visible, okay? Compile, save, same with the point light. We don't want it to be visible. Compile, save, but, except for when this thing tells it. So when it tells it to be visible, then we decide, okay, it's gonna be visible. That's why we're doing it this way. Now, we wanna also make sure, just click up here, type S-E-E. -E. Um, owner no C is false, okay? Owner only C is true, that's how I want it. Um, that one doesn't have the option. So, okay, that should be it. So only the owner is going to see this. There should be no reason that other people are seeing it, unless I've totally screwed it up. Um, it looks good here. Doesn't look like client to client is seeing it. Let's double check. Cycle through different weapons. Looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any weird orange stuff. Okay, um, so that looks pretty good. Let's make sure our stuff's coming on on the right. Now, I've noticed a lot of these particle effects, these laser beams and stuff, they're only showing up on my high resolution monitor. And I've noticed this about everything from HUD widgets and to very fine graphics. It will affect how things are displayed. I know that sounds really obvious, but it's not so obvious because I didn't think it would make that big of an effect as far as like how big this slide is and stuff like that. But it is being affected by the resolution of your monitor very significantly. And since I record these videos on a 1080 monitor, um, but my actual d monitor is one of those ultra wide ones because I like having tons of space, it looks different for when I do things. But the one thing that is consistent is this god awful angle that's going on here. And you notice 
how it looks like it's just jetting over to the right and it looks ridiculous. So we're going to find a happy medium of rotating the character. So we've got to be careful. We rotate him toward that angle um, enough. He'll be lined up perfectly. But then when he walks, he'll be moving at a constant angle and it looks really strange. We move him uh, not enough, it looks like this. We move them just right, and it's kind of a happy medium. And you're going to see what I mean. So, eject out of here. Eject. Escape, please. Viewport. Go to third-person character. Go to your viewport. Go to your mesh. And we're going to manipulate the, uh, the this guy, this turning thing right here. Um, it's at 270. These degrees vary. If you want to go negatives, you can go negatives. Um, I think I did when I did this. I think I had it at about... Negative. Now watch him very closely. I'm going to go 81. And then when I press tab, you're going to see how much he moves. Just a little bit. Watch. Okay. So that tilted him toward where that laser is going to be. Now, when he when the camera switches to the other side, when we have like left and right view modes, like the camera over the left shoulder, camera over the right shoulder, he'll, we'll have to remember that and rotate him the other way. So he's faced right, the correct direction. But you're going to see... What this does, number one, it allows us to see the weapon that's in his hand better. And on top of that, it's going to give us a better angle when that laser beam does, in fact, come out. And let's... There. It's not perfect, but you move it too much and it looks like he's running at too much of an angle. He's already running at a little bit of an angle. And that's kind of how the animation looked in the first place. So it's not so bad. It's not so noticeable. But it's always going to be up to your preference, getting it just right, getting the crosshair right, getting the angles right, um, and the camera, and all of that stuff. And you're going to find out what works best for you. Um, so that's just my, I don't know, that's just my take on what's right uh, or what looks good. But you can definitely manipulate things however you want. So aside from that, just make sure you're organizing your blueprints, blah, blah, blah add comments um if you dude uh don't feel free to you know comment ask questions some people are worried about asking too many that's silly that's what this is all about ask away i'm going to set up some social media i don't know what do you guys think i need somebody mentioned discord i was also thinking like a twitter so i could just update you guys on like what's coming up what to expect um what's going on Especially if there's ever a delay in videos, like, oh, what is he doing? Is he has he stopped the series? No, I didn't stop the series, silly. I'm working on something really deep in depth. And that's the other thing. If there ever is a gap, I'm probably working on something very complicated that I want to show you guys, and I got it way in over my head. And I want to get at least somewhat presentable. So Twitter would be a good way for me to give you quick updates on stuff. Um, but I do like Discord a lot. I'm not huge on Facebook, but it seems like a lot of people are. Uh, I might I might do that. So, I don't know. Maybe leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, of course, like and all that sort of stuff. Um, but we're heading straight forward. We got lots of this stuff coming up. Um, too much to even talk about. I don't, it just There's so much stuff. I don't even know which direction um, I'm going to go in at this exact moment. But we're going to go in it. We're going to get our first person stuff. We're going to get um multiplayer uh like logins we're gonna do uh, all sorts of stuff uh, the next thing might be actually having like a combat non-combat animation maybe something like that or uh or something else so we'll just we'll see how it goes uh but we're gonna get it all done in the end so good luck keep at it and we'll see you on the next one